In our last lesson, we took a look at enabling basic touch interactivity with display objects. There's a button on our stage, and when we press the button, we receive the began phase for the touch. We can move the touch and receive the moved phase, and then release the touch to get the ended phase. However, if we begin the touch inside of the button area, and then release it outside, we won't get the ended phase. To do this, we have to add a little more code to our logic. We'll head back into our code, and under the began portion of our logic, we'll type the following. Display dot get current stage, open and close parentheses, and colon. Now, set focus, open and close, and within the brackets, or the parentheses, we'll type e dot target, comma, e dot ID. So what this line of code does is it gets the current stage and it sets its focus. So the current stage here is the uh, referring to the button, which is e.target, and then e.id is referring to the touch. So this will allow us to lock in um, the button as a target with for our touch. Now take that same code and we need to release it at the ended phase. Paste it and then set nil for the second parameter. Now when we relaunch the code, we'll touch, move, and release outside, and then we receive the ended phase. And this is um, easily scalable to multi-touch, so we can use this uh, code later. Okay, if we wanted to move the button to wherever we release, this is pretty easy. We'll go back to the code, and in the ended portion, right before we just declared the display.getCurrentStage, we'll do the following. Self, because we're calling the button object here with the event listener, self.x equals e.x. Self.y equals e.y. Now this is only going to move um, the button, it's not going to move the text, so we didn't put this in a display group. Uh, that would be the cleanest way to group the objects and move them together. I'm going to be rather lazy and just move them separately. So txt.x equals e.x and txt.y equals e.y. Okay, so now we'll relaunch and click, hold, drag, release. Click, hold, drag, release. If we wanted to see this animate, it'd be pretty easy to do. What we'll do is delete the old code and we'll use the transition.2, then the object to be um, transition, so self, comma, open and close brackets, close your parentheses. Now these brackets indicate an object that is fed to the transition to method and these are the parameters that you want to animate. So we'll animate x equals e dot x. Time equals, and this is time in milliseconds, let's say 1500 milliseconds, so a second and a half. Okay, copy that line, paste it, and instead of self, we're going to animate the text object, so that's the um, text here, and the same properties. And I should actually put the Y in also. Y equals E dot Y, comma, and same thing here. Y equals E dot Y. Save it and relaunch. Okay, um, touch, move, release, touch, move, release. And it could, it's pretty apparent how this would be used in a lot of different uh, games and applications. And in fact, as we go on, we'll find that this basic means of touching an object, dragging to a destination and releasing um, is going to be a, a basic building block of a lot of different types of um, games and activities.